Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing the OpenFire Instant Messaging Server on Linux. Before we begin, we'll run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll run apt install default JDK to install the open JDK Java runtime, followed by apt install MariaDB server and MariaDB client to install the MySQL database. Next we'll use regular expression to look up the latest OpenFire release download URL. Then we'll use wgit to download the latest installation package. Then we'll use dpkg to install the downloaded Debian package. Next, we'll elevate to root privileges using sudo su, then we'll run the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password, and set the values for insecure permission settings. Then we'll log into the MySQL database as the root user, and create an OpenFire database and database user to be used by the application. Next, we'll switch to the OpenFire database and import the database schema. With the MySQL database and schema created, we can now exit out of the MySQL prompt and exit out of the elevated shell. Open up a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the server, colon 9090. Select the language and click continue. Edit the domain name and server host name as needed, then click continue. Select standard database connection, then click continue. Select MySQL from the database driver dropdown. Edit the database URL as needed, then complete the form by entering the database username and password. Leave the profile settings on default and click continue. Set an email address for the admin user account, then set and confirm the password. Once setup completes, click the login to admin console button. Log in with the username admin and the password created a few steps ago. Welcome to the OpenFire admin console. To test my new server, I'm going to go to Users and Groups and create two test users. Now that I have my two test users created, I'm going to install the Pigeon XMPP client to do some testing. Pigeon can be installed by running apt install pigeon. Launch pigeon from the applications menu. On the welcome screen, click add. Set the protocol to XMPP. Enter the username and password, and set the domain to the XMPP server domain. Optionally, you can set a local alias for this account. Click the Advanced tab, set the connection security to use encryption if available, then click Add. When prompted, click Accept to accept the client certificate. Back in the Admin console, we can refresh and see that one of the users has successfully authenticated. To continue my testing with user number 2, I'm going to remote desktop into a Windows-based device. I'll launch Pigeon and go through the same steps to log in as user number 2. Now that we have our two test users logged in, we can begin a new chat. This step will be a little bit different based on the XMPP client being used, 
in Pigeon, we're going to add a new buddy. Now that the chat has been authorized on both sides, I can send messages between the two clients. Thank you.